Hi, I'm Martin with Hydrolock Systems. In this segment, we're going to talk about general system design, how to put the whole thing together and things to look out for to make a perfect system. So if you're using the six plant kit with the small pump, remember from our video earlier that you can mount it to the wall with a hose going down in, or more preferably, mount it on the floor and connect it to the reservoir at the bottom. This is going to prevent any priming issues now we're moving on to the pump and filter assembly. So as you remember from our previous video, we've installed a bulkhead at the bottom of our reservoir. We've added a ball valve shutoff. And on this particular system, we've added a check valve to prevent any siphoning issues back to the reservoir and also to keep water in the pump so it always stays primed. Remember when you're installing this to put it in the right flow direction. This is a three quarter inch, 155 mesh screen filter that needs to go after the pump. And it also has arrows on it pointing which way the flow goes. Uh, this is a, a nifty thing to do with this is to unscrew this cap and add a garden hose to a bucket for easy flushing. So when you're cleaning the system or you just wanna clean the filter without actually unscrewing it, you can run the system and it'll run out into your bucket. The pressure gauge kit is a nice accessory to add to your system to monitor system performance over time. It needs to go before the pressure regulator and after the filter. It's composed of a PVC T and a PVC bushing. So you can see the complete assembly here. It goes to zero to 100 PSI. The purpose of it is to run your system and find out what your particular system runs at and remember that. So if this system runs at 40 PSI, over time you'll be able to monitor any pressure issues. If it drops or increases, you know you need to start troubleshooting the system. All of our systems utilize a 25 PSI inline pressure regulator and its objective is to create even watering across the board. So like the check valve, it also has a flow arrow that points in the direction it needs to be installed. It comes with two adapters and you wanna place it relatively close to your first manifold. The beauty of the Hydrolock system is it allows you to design it however you want using three quarter inch PVC. So once you have your pump station built and your manifolds assembled, it's time to put it all together to make an awesome system. One thing you wanna think about when positioning your manifold is that it's gonna serve as six plants around it. So you wanna put it in the center of where those six plants are going to be. You're gonna glue it into place and then begin to build out from there. You're gonna take your pliers and seat your quick connects tightly into a support and then bring it and press fit it into the hydrolock. Now we get asked all the time, does length of quick connects matter for even watering? And the answer is yes and no. So you don't want really long ones and really short ones on the same manifold, but within a couple feet is okay. The pressure regulator is gonna take care of even watering by distributing the water evenly and creating the right pressure throughout the entire system. Depending on the size of your system, stabilizers are handy to use to keep the system upright. They're built using a PVC T and an end cap and a length of three quarter inch PVC. Cement all that together and glue it in line and you can also alternate these down the line to keep this, all the manifolds standing up straight. The end of your line should be created in a way that makes it easy to flush. So here we've added a PVC T, a cap, and a ball valve that can flush out the end of the system. This is completely up to you, whether you're growing on the floor or a table, just keep in mind that the end of the line needs to be in a strategic location with a shutoff valve, so when it's time to flush and clean the system, you don't have water everywhere. So as you can see, the Hydrolock system provides endless possibilities in respect to design. Once you get your manifold placed and your pump set up, you can do it however you like. We have tons of customers that mount it on the wall, through the ceiling, on the floor and tables. So it's really up to you. Do your research, check out our Instagram page, or give us a call if you're having a problem with your design.